Alright, y'all had to pull up on my boy, man. It's the, one of the fastest S10s in Greensboro. Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah, let's swap. What is it? A 5-3? Uh, Boy on E6 the transmission. Tracks. Got a 32 and 3600 stall in it. Stage 4 cam. Stage 4 cam? Yeah. Shit. Um, I think there's tick performance, 660 dual springs, hard and push rods. I had the edge resurface. I had the edge resurface, three angle valve job. And that's basically it. I put all new gaskets on it, new oil pump, rear main seal, front crank seal. Um, you did. What, what did you? What did you do? Like, did you do all of it? Yeah, I did a majority of the swap. Other than some of this wiring, ain't that's where I let a guy do it. Still got to clean some of it up, but I get to it. I get to it. I just wanted to drive. Facts. About a year long project. That's because I done it on the weekends here and there. It's clean though. It looked it's, it's tight back there. It looked like, but it's yeah. everything fit it's though. It's more room than what it was at first. Yeah. When I put the motor back in, I ended up cutting the subframe. Oh, okay. The cross member, front cross member again. I um, slid the motor forward, so so I got more room than I did before. Yeah. Plan yeah. on replacing this intake. Got a 92 millimeter throttle body on it. What you what type of intake you going with? Probably either a G's or I just want something real low profile. Yeah, I feel clean it. it up. Yeah. Plan on putting AC back on it here whenever. Honestly. Everybody get hot. Yeah. I like this uh cable, that throttle cable. Oh yeah, I appreciate it. It was too long. I cut it down, but then I cut it down due to the other intake I had. Mm -hmm. Then when I got this intake, it's kind of tight, but it worked out. So. Tracks. Yeah, that's a brand new water pump. Brand new water pump. I got electric fans in it. Cut the uh, front core support. Need to go back and cut it out some more so I can access that better. But Facts. I was just ready to drive. Ready to get on the road with it. What was, uh, where your computer at? In the floorboard. BM shifter. I still got to do a little bit of wire. Like I said, I just got to clean some stuff up. I was just happy to drive. I got to replace door seals, window seals. Yeah. But. It's pretty smooth though. Yeah. You put that shifter in? Yeah. What? You put the shifter in yourself? Yeah, I put the shifter in. Relays and stuff right here. I'm going to go back and clean that up. What's those relays for? The, the fuel pump uh, and the fuel fan? Fuel pump and fan. And then the. Uh, computer wiring and stuff running from it. I really want to take the um, computer and actually get it to come in here, but I got to figure out how I'm gonna get them plugs through this back hole. Oh, okay. Back of the plug box, so either I might just cut it out. Ain't nobody gonna see it. Yeah. It's a bit clean though. Mm -hmm. right, nice head headliner. What's this in the back right here? Uh, my battery, I've relocated the battery back there. And then I put my transmission cooler in the bed. Oh, that's smooth. And the lines look good. Lines. They're all A in lines with the transmission cooler. I did A in lines with the fuel system. What uh, fuel pump you got? I uh, upgraded it to like a 200, I think it's 255 the, like, per hour. You said a Corvette stuff? I got a Corvette um, fuel filter in it. Oh, okay. And it's just a regular pump to make it because I didn't think that the stock 4-3 pump would work in it mm -hmm. so I just went ahead on and put a pump in it before Facts. Pretty clean though you said it took a year to do it about a year just going to those weekends here and there right and with the little um, with the little hiccups I had I ended up putting a cam in it use a spring of cam with the cam kit the rocker on bent the valve uh the valve, messed the valve guide up, so I did the valve guides and everything when I redid the heads. So, you gonna start it up? Yeah, 
might crank on the first go around. Uh, Good, she idle right now. You hear that big cannon too. Nah, this tough though. I'm proud of you dog. Nigga did it himself. See? You would think it's like a sleeper delight. Like it's a sleeper for sure. Yeah. Point three. Yeah, these joints sound good. Bro, I did that? Nah, that joint sound good, bro. I got a Flowmaster Forty Series on a Super Ten. Yeah, that bitch sound good. That bitch came in perfectly. After you, after you revved it, that joint started camming even better. Oh, yeah. So it sounded even better on it. Like, once you warm up while I get down the highway with it, uh -huh. it sounds better. So was that a cold start or since yeah. this morning? Okay. Cold start since I got here. Yeah. I've been here since like 6 o'clock this morning. So. Yeah. So it's about, it's about four hours. It sounds good. What's the... uh? The fuel injectors, do you have to upgrade those? No, I just use stock injectors. Oh, yeah. Stock injectors. I had to get the details and make it work for the harness. The adapters? Yeah. yeah. So I got big pedals on that. Cool. So what's next? Like, what's the next best thing that's going to happen to this truck? Shoot, the next best thing, I'm put me some nice wheels on it. Put me some 17 by 4 and a half on the front. Probably a 15 by 10 in the back. Okay. And I got a 488 rear end that I'm going to put in it with 373 gears. Might just do that this weekend. Facts. I'm just casually just doing it when you want. Yeah. Must be nice, man. <laughs> Everything done here when you're two doors. Yeah. So. That's a luxury, man. Nah, this joint is smooth. Some things that I want to change on it and do over time. Yeah. But shoot, I was just ready to drive got it running so got it tuned up she ready now then i take it next week right now it's running on a street tune mm -hmm. so i'm gonna take it next friday and get it running so i try to catch that on video like, yeah, cool. hopefully i make it good probably about 370 to 400 hopefully hopefully i had the wrong intake on it at first mm -hmm. and when it got a dyno tune with no I didn't have no O2 sensors. I had O2 sensors in it, but the ones that I had in it, they were wrong. Mm -hmm. So I put the new ones in it, and I ain't had a dyno tune since. Yeah. And when I took it the first time, he dyno tuned it. He said it made 300 with a bunch of problems. Once he ironed that out. Much out. Yeah, once he ironed that out, you'd be good. If you make 300 and they still had tweaking to do. Keep it OG so, patina. Yeah. So I might leave it like this for a little while. Upgrade the headlights. Probably put some LEDs in it. I ain't even ask. What year is this? It's an 89. 89. Tahoe version. Tahoe version. Yeah, the S10 boy. It only, when I bought the truck, it had 157 on it. It said like 160 now. Mm -hmm. So I had to swap in. I probably don't put around. 
thousand miles on it. Yeah. Just driving around town. Cool. Getting the feel of it. So when I take it back to him, hopefully we won't have no problems on the dyno. Still running stock dry shaft, stock rear in it with a 308 feel sluggage. But we gonna figure it out. Oh yeah. Where can they find you at, man? You got Instagram? Yeah, you can find me on Instagram. Um, I'll put it up on the screen. You can find me on Instagram at WTF1X underscore 1X. That's my main page, but for my S10, little red S10. That's him. I didn't really, I'm going back now, I'm back dating the bill. Yeah. Trying to do it that way. Motivated by this guy here. <laughs> he stayed on me because I ain't recording that. Yeah, that's why I had to pull up on him today. I said, look, if you ain't gonna record it, I will. I, ain't <laughs> that. I got videos, I just didn't, didn't edit none of them or posting it because shoot, I was in the mindset of getting it done. Yeah. More than anything. Got quite a bit of money tied up in it just the way it's sitting down. Mm -hmm. I feel like it was all worth it. Yeah. I did this deal behind my pops that passed. He used to have some S, um, S10 blazers. Mm -hmm. And I always wanted to do it. Now let's swap in one. So yeah. if I'm square about it with the idea and the plan to have that swap. And I just made it happen, honestly. Yeah. Once you find that purpose, bro, it be up. Yeah, you like, ain't nothing stopping you after you get that purpose. Yeah. But it was some time put into a hard work help from free people. I just do a lot of research on stuff before I actually start tanning and stuff. Yeah. I watch a million videos. Same. Once I feel like I got it, I just go for it. Yeah, yeah. I get it figured out, though. One thing cool. about it. This ain't the only thing I do, either. Yeah. So, what else you got? Like, what else you got? You got a... I got a 2006 Chevy Silverado. I put a six inch lift on it, got some 26 by 14s, um, 35. I plan on putting a cam in that, tuning that, so just a lot of projects. We're not yeah. enough time. Yeah, that's how it be. <laughs> yeah, man. I use as much as I could from the 4.3 or even just from the truck. Got my, I still have the stock dry shaft in it. Most yeah. people say they can't do it without Swap from the dry shaft. That is wrong. <laughs> I got Trailing. stock on um, 3 power steering pump. You don't have to spend a lot of money to get it done. Just yeah. do your research and figure out what works with what. And just put it together. Right. It's either going to stay together or it's going to fall apart. <laughs> but the best thing about it, if it falls apart, you done it. <laughs> right. You pay nobody to do it. Exactly. To learn the place so just put your mind to it and do it. Facts. Yeah, man. This is it. This that 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 one of one S10. Y'all go follow my boy, man. Let him know how good of a job he did. All in house. This is just the beginning. Yeah. Y'all gotta tune in, man. He about to, he just told you what he gonna do. If y'all wanna see it, go follow his Instagram. Follow, comment. Cool, cool. Y'all stay locked, man.
it just moved right there. It haven't been tuned to wide open throttle. Yeah. So when I take it back, I'm hoping I get a better response from the throttle response. Yeah. And then it's like with the stall, I'm still, this is my first time driving something with a stall in it. Mm -hmm. Like since I did the build. Yeah. So I, um, I'm still learning the stall situation or the stuff like that. And I don't really know if it's like too big of a stall, too small of a stall. <laughs>